Hello, this video is on the topic of love, care, or in Buddhist terms, uh, metta, or being for the welfare of all beings. And it's in the Middle Way series. So, very generally, one is looking again for a synthesis uh, but of aspects which are positive in this whole area of care and kindness. So just looking first of all, as we have been sometimes in these videos, the, the negative polarities. So one is just being completely self-absorbed, uh, not caring for others enough, uh, disconnected, uh, selfish, <laughs> Uh, and in a way, not really kept because of that, not really caring for oneself, not really caring for the bigger picture of how that one does grow and develop is as a person who does take into account both care for oneself and others. On the other hand, there is over concern for the welfare of others, where one is as it were, losing oneself uh, by focusing too much on others and what they need and their problems and difficulties. And in a way, losing your process, losing contact with uh, your genuine positive needs. So in this way, uh, you, you, you might have a tendency one way or the other uh, and to, part of the process of the middle way is to recognise uh, your tendencies, maybe even habits in this way, and to come into <coughs> a, a, it's not just a middle ground actually, but it's a way in which the whole process of care and love and being for uh, all beings, yourself included, is a sort of ascending process. Uh, which takes in uh, relevance, timing, uh, context, when's the, the right time, the good time to take care of others, when's the right time to take care of yourself and your own needs, uh, when taking care of others is taking care of yourself, and taking care of yourself is uh, absolutely fundamental platform for taking care of others. So in this way, you start to, to, to bring together uh, an intelligent and emotionally connected approach to uh, your responses for uh, your own needs in terms of well, your health and your, your growth and development, and for others in terms of their health and general well-being and their, their growth and development. And that, that being for... Uh, growth and development, being for uh, one's welfare and others' welfare is, I think, part of the key here. If you're sort of, over, you, you can get a feeling that you're over-emphasising um, being lost in someone else's problems completely without any discernment of the re uh, relevance of it or with the value of it even, uh, it's not useful. Um, and on the other hand, if you notice, and noticing that, that's the important thing, actually being aware that that's what's happening, and then being able to make a choice about changing that, creating uh, a new approach within yourself, being more altruistic, perhaps more generous, more kind, uh, in, in a relevant way. So this whole area also of uh, being cut off uh, and, and just self-serving uh, also needs to be watched. But very often, I think, part of the middle way is to notice that we sort of shift backwards and forwards between these tendencies. But to be able to find uh, a sort of emotional attitude 
might sound like a, a mix of things there, but that an emotional attitude in which potentially you could be caring for others, uh, even though actually you're choosing at that moment to spend more time uh, on yourself, for yourself. And that when you're caring for others, potentially you could also be quieter and more uh, self-reflective. So it's not just that you're only in one and blind to the other. 